I can say that though. All right, we back. The last bit, I, we almost had a crisis. Almost dropped the camera. A crisis. A crisis. <laughs> the camera crisis in 2018. I was about to get the script. Can I get the script? What you got? All right. James. Okay, bring that James out. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Cause yeah, because you seem excited about it. I'll go ahead. <laughs> this is what you quoted earlier. It says uh, James 2. Oh, it's like a lost Oh, it's like a 1 in 22. <laughs> it says, uh, we start at 21. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness. Oh, lay apart all filthiness. That means all that little nonsense y'all got going on. Believe in whatever you want to believe. You're not keeping the laws in the Most High. Y'all here committing adultery. You got women leaving their husbands. Do all manner of wickedness. Go ahead. Oh, you supposed to receive this in meekness. I mean, you supposed to humble yourself. Not come up here with a proud spirit, running your mouth. Okay, you supposed to be humble. I'll go ahead. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own self. All right, you got to be doers of the word, not hearers only. So you supposed to, well, you supposed to hear this word and do it, okay? He says, for if any, it's like for, if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like a, he's like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. For if he holdeth himself and goeth his way, his straightway forgetting what manner of man he was. Oh, yep. Now you see that a lot, though. I read that again. Read that little part again. He, it's it about he forgot what man he was or something. For he beholdeth himself and go way, his way and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was. But whoso looketh unto the perfect law of liberty, continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the word. That forgetful hearer, you got a lot of forgetful hearers. They'll come up, you know, they'll, they'll listen to the word or they'll read the scriptures. The scripture said don't commit adultery. But you know you'll have some woman come up and offer some sex to you. And you know she's married, and she told you she's married, but you still gonna have sex with her anyway. You know what I mean? That, that's wicked and evil. If you know a woman is married and you still have sex with her, that's wicked and evil, bro. But a lot of people do that with no problem. And that's a big problem out here is adultery. The, the spirit, the wicked demon of a, the, the adultery demon. That's a heavy de demonic spirit. Is the demonic spirit of adultery. That's why the Lord, what do he say? It's one of his favorite things to call y'all was what? You wicked uh, and adulterous generation. You adulterers and you adulteresses. That was a common saying of the son, son of the Most High. Yep. He always called everybody adulterers and adulteresses. That's one of the top sins. You know, that uh, thou shalt not commit adultery. That's one of the Ten Commandments. I bet most of y'all don't even know the Ten Commandments. I bet y'all can't name three commandments. Like you said, he was walking up to and fro, up and down the earth, man, with the heavy spirit of adultery in it. Yep. That's a heavy fucking spirit. And Satan will tempt you, too. Like you said, a woman, you'll, you'll come up, here you're claiming to be a man of the Lord, but a woman's going to try to get with you, and you know damn well she has a man, and you still going to do it. If you puss in the flat. Yep. I done turned out many a woman. You got cat, you got fish in the flat. Fucking got a fucking website, plenty of fish. Yeah, because adultery is a sin punishable by death. Plenty of fish. A plenty of fish. Oh and ain't fish stinks, all them internet sites, there's all uh, yeah. adultery hubs. That's crazy, man. It's called plenty of fish. What about porn hub? Full of Jake, man. Nothing but Jake. Nothing but Jake. Plenty of fucking fish. That's amazing. Well, they got the little bio, too. It's all lies. Them hoes are dressing the fuck on there, too. Dressing the fuck. I haven't literally turned... You know how you can actually turn your site on to the public yeah. and make yeah. it private. I have turned my shit private. I'm tired of messages coming through. I need to get it on plenty. I, I ain't look for them, bitch. I ain't had that... I had to cancel my old account. I need to get a new one. Get on there and mess I couldn't even find out how to cancel it. I couldn't even find how to do that. It, I ain't been on there in a long time. I just made it private, man. So it ain't showing up. Hopefully it's not showing up. I'm gonna get on there and find me an Israelite princess. Penny of fucking fish. I'm gonna find a righteous woman. Damn, I'm such a bitch. There's plenty of fish right there. 
plenty of fish, all right. It just <laughs> smells like fish. It does, man. You like crazy? Your pussy actually smells like fish. Now you got that. Even if they so called clean without no infection, they wear them jeans all day long. You take take them pants off. And you smell it. You uh, smell all it. that sweat. You smell it. All that build yeah. is building up. It has a, a small scent of fish. Man. Wearing fucking jeans, motherfucker. The scripture says for y'all to have to wear pants, man. Not that which pertains them to a man. Yep. That's a commandment. You know, right? And that's one of one other ones to be doers of the word, not hearers only. They don't even realize the bacteria. It, it lies in moisture. It, 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 yep. it, it, it breeds and, and multiplies in that moisture or that sweat that's multiplying between their legs, man. That's why mosquitoes like uh, they don't little... Why mosquitoes? Well, you know, I'm just saying. Like, no, nah, no, nah, that's beautiful, boss. Mosquitoes. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. <laughs> ain't nothing worse than mosquitoes, man. It's crazy. Ain't nothing worse than mosquitoes. But they ain't got no goddamn sense. You gotta let that pussy breathe. And same thing with a man, you know? Yeah. The ancient apparel, the way a man from fall to free, we was fertile. We actually wore, man. wore tunics, like you know, uh, walking around with skinny jeans on. Cause you know, actually, they got sweats, they got, they got, they got suits. You know, skinny the, jeans. You know, suits. in the ancient world, we didn't wear pants. We wore uh, tunics and right, uh, right, I know. Uh, robes. What do they call them? Uh, the first perfect example to look at is go look at the Chinese and the Japanese, how they dress when they at home. Yeah. They still do it to this day, man. And that's why we talked about it before. Well, when the scripture says, gird up your loins like a man, because like when you got ready for battle, you took your robe and you pulled it up and you tied it. That's crazy. Fucking genius. That's Esau. That's Esau. You got your Edomite real dressed. Fucking genius. She got a dress on. Women wear, women wear uh, yoga pants. That's All the little tight shit. little black pants. That's a Polish shit. It's a trifle shit. She looked like uh, the, uh, the principal of a portrait. Well, I can't yeah. remember what her name is. It's Ellison. The woman that got arrested back in the early 1900s for wearing shit like the yoga pants, man. Oh, yeah. I, I remember we brought that out we years ago. arrested her. Let me see if I still got that. I think we made a video on that one day. You told me about that. Hey, let me get a preset right. Did you still read that? Woo! Why are you looking fed out? I'm bringing out some scriptures. This is John 15 and uh, 15 and I'm gonna start at one. I am the true vine, and my father is the husbandman. Every branch of me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it. That brings more, bring forth more fruit. Right. So you're supposed to be bringing fruit, which means you're supposed to be teaching his word as you was commanded on the streets, like we doing. Uh, it's too much work for these people. They said work. Uh, John 15 and 3. Now ye are clean. No, going into what we say, how you get you being made clean by teaching this truth. And by doing it. By hearing it and doing it. And now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you. As a branch, it cannot bear fruit of itself except it abide in a vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. And that's the point I wanted to bring forth, though. He said, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken of you. That's how you get clean. That's how you get right. But they don't want to hear these words. Bro, they have a problem. They don't want to fight you. People ask them, well, you teach the Bible, people want to fight you. Where they do that at? It's like they killed all the apostles. They told the Lord, the same people that's out here today, they got the same spirit of those wicked Israelites and said, we have no king but Caesar. Crucify him. They told the Romans to crucify the son of the Most High. And the king of Israel. And when he was crucified, he didn't even said king of Israel on his cross. So they knew Jesus, Jesus told the 12 tribes of Israel, guess who was the coolest? Which one was the, the uh, coolest? Which one was the priesthood? The Levites? No doubt. The Levites are great. We all priests now. Huh? We all priests now. Yeah, well, we're high priests, but not the high priest that was Aaron who really screwed it up really good. The Levites, do you know what happened to, um, oh gosh, Asaph? You know who Asaph was? Yeah. He was the coolest yeah. dude in the psalm. You know what he said? <laughs> so he was the the psalmist? The 
Psalm is safe, Seth. We wrote 11 Psalms. The best one, truly, God is good to Israel. What's next? Yeah, he's good to who? He's good to Israel. To the Israel. real Israel. The true Israel. The, the, the true what? Israel that combines both the believers in the Old Testament with the believers in the New Testament. They're all Israelites. They're all Israel. The Lord Israel. Of Guess who Israel. changed his name? Yeah. Jehovah God. Jehovah. Jehovah appeared to Jacob, and Jacob was right. a surplanter. He was a heel grabber. He cheated Esau right. out of his birthright. Yeah, Esau's the devil. Guess what God did? Esau's not the devil. Esau He's the is devil. the devil. Satan is the devil. Lucifer. No, Edomites are devils. Lucifer. Edomites are devils. Edomites are devils. Edomites are devils Lu Satan was Lucifer before he was hey, Satan. Cunning I deceiver, was accuser. Jesus. Guess what? I don't give a shit. Guess what? Jesus is Lord. The word you devil. confess why, with why your you mouth. Listen, confess. Hold on, hold on. Confess. Why did the Lord confess, call Jesus the devil? Oh, nigga, confess the Why did the Lord with call your Jesus mouth the devil? That Jesus is Lord. So a man Jesus can be a devil. is Lord. You know who Jesus was? Jehovah. No, he's not. That's what Jehovah did. He fought with Jacob all night. That's what he did. Bless me, bless me, bless me, bless me. Jacob just supplanted. I, I love a scripture. Guess what? Israel, your name, your name will no longer be Jacob. We know it that scripture. It will be Israel. We're the, we're, we're the teachers, Guess bro. Guess what? Strive with God, brother. You're not striving with God. That's why we're out here teaching and you're not. You're doing what you're doing so you, because why? And Jacob because does not mean, uh, Israel does not mean strive with God. Yes, it, it does. Means he's a, it means Prince. he's a prince of God. Yeah, but guess what? You need the Hebrew. Elohim. <laughs> All right, Elohim. <laughs> Elohim. But Elohim. See, that's one thing you're going to come to find out. There's a lot of weirdos out here. But look, he said that a man can't be the devil, right? I got a scripture to prove men can be devils and are called devils. Revelation 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. So who locking people up in the prisons out here? It's the white man. Hey, that proves the white man's the devil right there. And this is actually talking about the, the ancient Romans who was locking up the, the Christian Israelites up in prison for teaching the word. That's what it's actually talking about. So it's literally called the Romans devils. And the, the America is Rome reincarnated. But it said the devil shall cast some, cast some of you into prison. It got me talking like him. It brought evil spirits up here. It got me stuttering. This is John 6 and 7. Y'all shall answer them. Have not I chosen you twelve for one of you as a devil? Yeah, he called Judas a devil. He called all, all people a devil. So you got the heathens can be devils, and the scripture said that Judas was a devil. So yeah, a, a person can be a devil, yes. That's why we call these people devils. Anybody who don't believe in the truth is a devil. That's what the Lord said. Anybody who betray, betrayed us is the, is the devil. Betray the Lord, you a devil. Because the word devil means what? A deceiver. A deceiver. That's a saying amongst our people about like, you old devil. Yeah, they, they call their best friend now, you old devil, you. Shit, it's kind of funny how the spirit is. A lot of white motherfuckers is hurt, it's called devils. Yeah, you know? yep. Let's go with you. Another day. Another day this bullshit. That's why we out here praying the Lord destroy this place. He gonna destroy everything out here. It's all gonna be destroyed. He gonna bring that fire, he's gonna burn them all up. Like a hey, let's get it. Uh, it's gonna burn like a oven. That's why we that's our hope. That's what we pray for. But for the Lord to, de to deliver us from this hell that we living in. Really? We got to live in hell. This is hell on earth, ain't it? Hell on earth, that's what we believe. That's what, that's what this is. We, this, we live in Hades. This is the pits of hell out here. The pits of hell. <laughs> okay. 
That's coming soon for all the wickedness out here. The Lord, the only way you can get rid of all this wickedness is to burn it. Like a cancer, you like a the disease, you gotta burn that disease. And the Lord gonna bring that fire when the missiles launch. Yeah, uh -huh. that penicillin ain't working no more. No, that antibiotics ain't working. Right. You gotta bring that fire. You know what I mean? Go <laughs> you see, yeah, they become drug resistant. <laughs> they sure hey, that's true though. We ain't just making a joke, man. Yeah. These these, these diseases, this cancer, this like the, the, these devils, man. There ain't no cure for it, man. You know? They don't overuse the antibiotics. Right. Actually. Ancient world, and not just ancient world. The early 1900s, 1800s, man. The, the, it was a it, like, there was a remedy for this, man. You know? Yes. You know? Kill these motherfuckers. Kill the motherfucker that's going off, man. Shit. <laughs> sure. With that remedy. Oh, that's, huh? a YouTube that's a YouTube channel. Without, that? No, without remedy. Without he remedy, he right. gonna destroy him without remedy. There is no remedy though. So the remedy now fire. is gonna come from a divine intervention. Of yep. Lord, man. That's all. That's, fire. that's our hope. You know? right. Listen, these angels, man, when they come, man, they gonna be shooting missiles too. Laser beams. Laser beams, too. fire. You hear what we say, man? That's some bug that shit. And when the angels come, they gonna be shooting laser beams, man. Yeah. And that's what's the Lord gonna be shooting laser beams, man. Yep. He's tired of these motherfuckers, man. He's tired of them, man. You're gonna burn them up. That's right. So that lake of fire is gonna be America burning the hell up. Yep. That's that lake of fire. The nuclear missiles hitting America, it's gonna be burning from all the four corners of America, man. <laughs> it's on its way out, man. It's on its spiritually it's happening right now. With the, we 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 cast through the burning up all that lies. Like, come out here. Hey, that's why you say the Lord's Prayer, right? When we say the Lord's Prayer, what do we say? We say, Thy kingdom come. We supposed, we supposed to pray that the kingdom come. So this kingdom right here cannot coexist right. with the Lord's kingdom. It got to go. This says, Thy will be done. Thy will be done. And his, 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 his objective is to kill, to destroy this society. Yep. You like trannies? You like transsexuals? <laughs> transsexuals. See, the Lord don't like that shit either, man. He's going to kill them. He's coming to kill trannies. All the wicked. Homosexuals. Booty doo doo chasing. Man, right. Niggas eating each other's butts out and shit just to go up in it, man. These motherfuckers is nasty, man. They foul, man. They foul, man. And that's why going to add what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. The Lord burn them with fire. Burn them with fire. Hey, let's finish up that Malachi, then we're going to get that Peter. This is all the proud, yay, and all that do wickedly. All, all, all the proud, and all, they come up, they say, God don't exist. The Bible bullshit. <laughs> They'll come up, oh, that book is written by a man. Okay. Go ahead. Shall be stubble, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith Yahweh of hosts, that shall lead them neither root nor branch. But unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with him in his wings. He shall go forth and grow up as calves of the stall. And ye shall tread down the wicked. We gonna tread down the wicked too. The Lord gonna give us power. And we gonna help the Lord kill these fools. He gonna give us, he gonna give us, he gonna change us. And we're gonna be like him. He gonna give us power. And they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet. It said the enemies, our enemies, the enemies of the Lord, they gonna be ashes under the soles of our feet. And the day that I shall do this, said the hour of hosts. That's 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 what we call a fire strip. That's fire. That, that's what that's gonna happen. We know it's gonna happen. We know, right. we know. We know. We know. It's like sometimes you might think, but we know. We see the truth. We know the truth. We done seen the vision. I believe. No. All right now. It's too much. Man. I'm sorry, bro. I get to it straight, bro. You can't be holding nothing back. You know? Man, I get excited. You talking about this place going to be destroyed? I'm excited. Don't, don't you get excited about that's, that's it? That's the beginning of all this, man. Shit. You're going to be able to sleep good. I get mad when you don't get excited. When you all like, oh, really? Uh, uh. You're supposed to be jumping up and down. Like like a goddamn Mexican jump with a jumping beam. You know what I mean? You know how you tell so you know how you you get all amped, you start hopping up and down, you excited. I would say I got a scripture for that. In Psalms 58 and 10, the righteous shall rejoice when he see of the vengeance, he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Oh, the righteous shall rejoice when he see the vengeance, he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So the Bible says that we're gonna wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. And that's gonna happen. 
So I mean, continue on all the little wicked stuff y'all doing right now. See what the end of you's gonna be. Go ahead. So that man shall say, really there's reward for the righteous. There's, a, there's a reward, our reward, that is our reward, is to wash our feet in the blood of the wicked. Starting with the Edomites, and two thirds of Israel. Go ahead. Really he is a God that judges the earth. He, he is a, right, he gonna judge this earth. That's a, what was that song, 50, uh, 58, yeah. Some of you would have changed, man. You would have got some fucking understanding, get some fucking comfort. Again, what do they do? Like, he ain't got no faith. You can scurry and fucking move. You know what? He probably waking up every day hoping to fucking die. You know? For 2 Peter 2 and 4, for if the Most High spared not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness. And those angels that sin is talking about Israelites. Uh, and these chains of darkness, that's these filthy ass bodies we in. That ain't talking about no under, uh, no mythological underworld. Chains of darkness. Chains Satan of, got you chained up in hell. I mean, not knowing that you an Israelite. That's chains of darkness. Thinking that, calling yourself an atheist. That's chains of darkness. Out here living in this filth. We out here living in this filth. That's we in chains. But well, this is hell. Like the Greek word is Tartarus. The deepest, darkest depths of hell. That's where we, this, that's what, this is the pit. Yeah, that's what it says in the Greek, I believe. We had, this is Tartarus out here. America is goddamn Tartarus. Right. It says to be reserved unto judgment and spare not the old world, but save Noah the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemn them with an overflow and there's a scripture also proved that America is fucking Sodom. That's why we know this is right. to fucking America. And he said, and we got something called a Sodomite. Right. That gets its name from the city of Sodom that the Lord burnt with fire because there's a bunch of homosexuals. Fact, Sodomites. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah to ashes, condemned them with an overflow. He condemned them with an overthrow. He said he turned them into ashes. How do you and, do that, man? And then what that, what that Malachi say? That we that we gonna that the ashes on the soles of our feet. I forget the exact word. We're gonna be stomping on the ashes. See, that's what Ash saw after the end of destruction. Ash and smell of smoke. Ash and smell of smoke. <laughs> that's why the book of Revelation said the smoke going to send to the heaven forever. And Ooh. turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example. As an example. An sample. That's why it's in sample. Yeah, in sample. That's why. That's our old school English. Unto those that after should live on God. Right. So, so the story of Sodom and Gomorrah getting destroyed by fire for being homosexuals, the Lord did that as an example for us to how to live. And they actually found the remains of Sodom and Gomorrah. They, they said they got hit by a nuke. They couldn't explain it. You know, because it was all glass. It was number fire. They're still finding that glass to this day for that fire. It was his evil. Yeah. And the land itself is not happening. It's like it it's not happening. Shit. It's not growing shit. <laughs> Just like the land of Israel. They import the shit there, man. Ain't nothing growing and blossoming in the state of Israel right now. Hell no. It says, and deliver just like that. With the filthy conversations of the wicked. The filthy conversation of the wicked. We've been talking about that all day. About this wicked shit these people are talking about. Nothing but wickedness comes out of these people's mouths. Delicious. For the righteous, for the for that righteous man dwelling among them and seeing and hearing, not turning your turning your head, ignore it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's great. As long as they don't bother me, I'm good with it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. That's what they say. It'll touch me. Uh, where am I at? And see in here. What they gonna bother you? What, what if a bisexual male has sex with your daughter and gives her fucking AIDS, chlamydia, gonorrhea? Now your daughter gotta go to the clinic because she got with a freak. Talking about it don't affect you. Here's the white man. Nasty. They're fucking nasty. Man. This 
granny making a video on the car with the motherfucker. She fucking, it fucking. And dude just sitting in the car looking stupid as fucking. The tranny like, you know, just dogging the shit out of him on camera, man. And made the motherfucker uh, uh, apologize. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> camera looking stupid. It looked like somebody called the IUIC, man. Looked just like somebody called the IUIC. got punked by a tranny? It was in the car with the tranny. He was fucking it. The tranny. Just woke up one day and decided to just dog this motherfucker, man. That shit's crazy. And to reserve that, and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment. The day of judgment. Shit. Judgment. Judgment. <laughs> Shit. This day coming quick, too. Come here. Fucked up here. Oh, they see you. I can't wait. Hey, I was just woke up and uh, seen the news. They, they was on, what was it? I think I was reading on Newsweek. It was big in the news this morning. It said that so, uh, the depression worse than yeah, the Great yeah. Depression is coming. Yeah, yeah. And the, uh, the, the Peter Schiff, he's saying that it's going to be far worse than that. Oh, Peter I Schiff. I got that on here somewhere. A lot of different papers were talking about it. The fucking financial experts. Yeah. It was on all the time side. Stop reading. Will be worse than the Great Depression. Yeah, it's not gonna be worse. Man, those motherfuckers are drinking dust in the Great Depression, man. Yeah, what side is that though? That, uh, I don't know. I just got on the New York Post. Oh, uh, New York Post. That's yeah. a. Cause it used to be just be our. We're, we're conspiracy theorists, but now it's on all the top sites yeah. saying it. Yeah. Yeah. New York Post. That's one of the top. That's one of the top uh, newspapers. It says. It says. I'm gonna read some of those. Ten years ago, it was too easy. It was too easy credit that more financial markets to their needs today. It could be a global debt of 247 trillion that caused a mixed crash. After a decade of escalating U.S. household debt brought on by low wages, the national debt more than doubling over the same time frame to 21 trillion, debt could soon put the brakes on the economy recovery analysis warm. We think the major economies are in the crust of this turning into the worst recession we have seen in 10 years, said Murray Gunn, head of global research at Elliott Wave International. And in a note, he added, should the U.S. economy start to shrink, and our analysis suggests that it will, the high nom nom nominal of levels of debt will instantly become a very big issue. Man. The e economic stats. It's that debt. Yeah. Cause Trump is driving up the debt even worse. Right. You got these jackasses that love Trump. Uh -huh. They still blame on Obama. Oh, yeah, they go. Well, that's what I'm saying, but they love, they love Trump, though. So they blame everything on Obama. Right. But he's doing the exact same yeah, thing Obama, as Obama. Same shit. Obama brought everything down. Like they all do it, though. They're all part of the same family. No, Trump, saying, Obama, they brothers. U.S. households debt of 13.3 trillion now exceeds the yeah. 2008 peak. That's due in part to mortgage lending, which is hovering near its decade ago levels of 20 trillion plus. I feel like your boy uh, Ron Paul been telling him for years, like y'all can't keep going into debt like this. Right. Student loans, yeah, because he's seen the night there. Yeah, he's seen it. Yeah, and it, it's, it's common sense, right man. It's the lowest it's ever been. What's that? Obama, four, yeah, four. That's because nobody ever found jobs. They stopped it. Like those numbers are. Those numbers are. Uh, so you've been, yeah, you've been to the west side. Things don't get. All you gotta do is just look what you see with your eyes. All you gotta do is go to the hood. You'll see how bad it is. Yeah. Them jobs ain't gonna. Ain't none of that. Oh, ain't none of it contributed to eliminate none of that. Who do you know get paid seventeen dollars an hour? But, uh, it's very few. I don't know nobody Boys. making that much. Listen, 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 listen. Boys Those jobs, you know these Boys jobs. Boys went out of business. You get paid right from these jobs. Pays. Okay, but that is not contributing to the debt. Listen, you get a job, right? You go cash that check, and they do give you money, right? If you want cash, right? You, you, that money you getting, you paying interest on that money. Yep. Trump you see what I'm saying? It, listen, the point of reading all this debt is because it's going to contribute to this crash that's coming. That's why we're reading the debt. You know, I'm talking to you, Cameron. Right, anyway. <laughs> Student Trump. loans outstanding love have Trump. skyrocketed from $611 billion in 2008 to around $1.5 trillion today? That's madness in itself. 
Auto loans at nearly 1.2.5 trillion have exceeded the 2008 total. Rich credit card balances are just as high now as before the Great Depression. Meanwhile, global debt, a result of central bankers flooding economies with cheap money. With cheap, cheap money, money, cheap money. To lift them out of the funk. Yeah, because they just print <laughs> money. They just print right, it. Right, right. That it, money ain't based right. on nothing. That's what we keep trying to explain is the money is causing this interest to go higher and higher. Because yeah, uh, the money, if they need more money, they just print it. It's not real. Yeah. Because real money is gold and silver. Right. Real money's gold, like back in the... Uh, Back in the old, when America was first founded, the money, everything was based on gold and silver. That's right. So oh, this printing money is going to call inflation. And the, why you get, yeah, inflation. 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 And that. Mark says I'm paying for life. For what? Oh, he got that, he got that check. I need me one of them checks, too. So he's going to put the chip. Right yeah. Way it oh, yeah. Not, you know? Yep. That's just the oh, real, oh, man. Oh, these oh, people oh, that got yeah. these social security just eat free money every month. They ain't, gonna, they ain't gonna accept it being turned off, man. Hell you know? no, they need that They gonna check. go, right, rush to the government and get their check, man. So they can keep that chatter going in. And hey, with that debt, though, that can, they can cut the benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, if personally, I think it's part of their plan to get Jack Chip, you know? Hey, that's true. I think they gonna probably that, cut some, a lot of them yeah. off. I believe that's gonna happen. They, they, Cause they're always going to the elderly, yeah, too. Cause Social Security is about to get a raise, man. Medicare, like Medicare. Thirty-something dollar raise at the end of the year. Cause Esau like to go after the helpless in that. Yeah. So East, the Jake, East, the elite, the elite know what they're doing. Yeah, they, they know do. they. Um, uh, Cause they can just they send more and more debt. They can, all they do is print it. Right. And that's the that's just the uh, the federal Re the federal reserve. Yeah, that's not even the government. Right. The right. Fact, the government right. does not even make the money. Wait a minute. Uh, the IMF. Yeah, the IMF. You know. They know, because the Rothschilds own that shit. That's their shit. <laughs> they know. It's the all a game, man. The Rothschilds don't even need money. They don't know. Cause they the ones that print the money. Damn right. Go on, hey, go in the military. Oh, damn, this cigarette make me sick. Fight Afghanistan. Fight Iraq a couple times. Yeah, right. This Hummer Club 2 and 6, shall not all these take a parable against him and a taunting property against him and say, woe to him that increased that which is not his? Ooh. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Why well, went to him that increase? That's, that's what they do with the war. And that's the reason they stay at war. And that's the, the reason they had the military got to stay so strong. Because the only re, only thing that's to keeping that dollar having any value is that military. It's fucking gun. It's the guns. The guns. So they point a gun at you and they're going to tell you this dollar is worth something. That's the only thing that gives a value. Shit, what did Iraq do? Iraq didn't have no choice but to yield to America. Yeah. Right? They have America more. took in all that oil, man. They brought in stuff. You remember how Iraq, they lit the oil fields on fire? Yeah. Remember how America brought in uh, the specials and let them fires look, out, man? Yeah. Hey, weapons, look. We have weapons. Yeah, they didn't have nothing. America got the weapons of mass destruction. Oh, <laughs> Russia going to launch all the missiles on America. All of them. All of them. All of them. Every last missile. Guess, guess what? Can I get an amen? <laughs> amen. <laughs> Hey, guess what? I'll give you a hallelujah and an amen. Here you go. It says, how long into him that laid it himself with thick clay? Ooh. Yep. That America. Thick. America. It's that thick clay. Yeah, that thick clay. They really think this place we is going to become go great again, man. Us. Totally ignoring the debt. All they got to do, pull up the debt clock and tell me when it goes backwards. You tell me. It ain't never went yeah, backwards. Right. It's just going up and up. <laughs> you, know, right. you can get on the internet, just look at the debt clock. It's that motherfucker <laughs> slow your computer down. Yeah. <laughs> that motherfucker is done. All that, all that computation. Ooh. That's it. He, he, said, he, said, he said, what about Russia? Yo, yo. My man. What you say about Russia? Russia got us. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Technology yeah. China yeah. don't fuck with us. Yeah. China Russia got it. Yeah, Russia. You know, Russia got uh, Russia has the most nuclear weapons on Earth. They got all the missiles. What China got? The manufacturers. Yeah, they make it. America don't make nothing. This country's on the way down. Until the world ends, this is never going to go in. America. The Lord going to destroy America. The destruction that's coming soon. All right, we going. We going deep. We going all the. No, the Lord is going to destroy America, literally. You want to know what happened when I come to Columbus, Ohio? I got my first Bible out here. Sir, where you come from? New York. 
Oh, wow. They got the apostles in New York, man. I came out here with a shot up in New York. We won't be able to call, it says, we won't be able to call in a recession. It's going to be worse than the Great Depression, said economics commentator Richard Schiff. Oh, like you do just said, all, everything manufactured in China. Right. So nothing made and produced in America. Man, this place got dark days coming. It's man. not even self-sustainable out here. All, all the food that we eat is, uh, you know, you go it's to the imported. store, a lot of our fruit's coming from it's South imported. Africa. It's imported. South Africa? Right, right. That's on the other side of the planet. Right, and the funny thing is, they rely on other nations to sustain this economy, too, because other nations are buying bonds, U.S. bonds, man, just like America yep. owes China, like, trillion. Yeah, trillion. One point, or one point five or two trillion dollars, and that's crazy, man. Germany was asking for their gold back. <laughs> right, right. But that was years right. ago. They never yeah. got it back. Never got it back yet, and America's giving them, like, it's a little bit at a time back. Yeah. Because it ain't there. Man, the Rothschild got that shit. They done, they, done, they done melted that shit down in a chain and go. <laughs> Rothschild's got it. Rothschild's uh, around. They rolling it on gold. Yo, yeah. My gold. He go in their house. They got gold carpet, gold chairs, you can, you can, gold ceiling. Can you imagine though? Gold silverware, gold plates. Because you don't never see videos of the inside of their home. Oh, hell no. The rich, a rich man is smart. Man. Jake go around acting like he... With the lottery in a brook not too long after, but they shit. all kind of shit and showing it off, getting robbed and Just imagine how we're gonna be in the kingdom. Oh, hey, you seen Slick Rick yeah, back in the yeah, 80s. Yeah, yeah. Imagine how we're gonna be in the kingdom. It's gonna be madness, bro. bro we're gonna have gold yeah. shoes. Everything gonna be, Everything gonna be gold. <laughs> yep. Yep. We're gonna have we're gonna talk about some ropes, some rope chains, bro. Right. We're laid down, man. This is gonna be so, fly. We're gonna so be fly as fuck. Dark days coming, folks. This place is about to collapse, you know. It's about to fucking collapse. Uh, uh, courtesy of the elect, of the elite. I got an article for real quick. I think you said King Solomon had gold in his hair. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, do that shit, yeah. This is uh, RT two days ago. It says Russia's latest energy uh, slogan. Russia's largest energy company preparing to uh, substitute professional dollars is uh, self selling Trying to take that oh yeah, that petrol, they get rid of that. The dollar, the, the, the dominant currency, no, but don't. they dominate no more. That's why America's station is military, ready to attack these nations that's going against the dollar. And a, a, one example is Venezuela, man. Venezuela. You know? at, first, they, at first they took out, the first guy who to uh, to get killed was who, your boy Saddam. Yeah, then they went after yeah, Gaddafi. Yeah, yeah. Because Gaddafi was at, uh, against it. It was anti-dollar, They were trying to kill your ass. Anti-dollar, man. Anti fucking dollar, man. Shit, and China just sent military, medical military to Venezuela. The oh, yeah, they just sent the ship yeah. to I seen that. So they getting ready, man. China, China's going to back up Venezuela. Russia already said eventually they're going to start doing some shit, man. The U.S., they really think they're going to send their, their, uh, their Marines into fucking Venezuela, man. No motherfuckers know that land, man. Go on over there. Go on. Jake's gonna wipe these motherfucking Americans off the map. They got killers down there in uh, Venezuela. Yeah, you saw the video of the motherfuckers eating each other when they got hungry. What was that the top city? Uh, Caracas Car 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 or something. Caracas, yeah. 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 It was like the murder capital of the world. That's crazy. Jake, Jake. I watch videos like they little rap video. That shit looks scary. Yeah. They make our they make our hoods look like paradise. Oh, look at the ones in Brazil, man. You like I don't know. No, that shit looks scary. I ain't going through that shit. You see how tight together they live? Oh yeah, yeah. Congested. Uh, Congested. Man, you, just, oh, you gotta watch your ass walking down the streets tonight damn over right. there. You're damn right. You thought it was bad out here. You thought the West Side was bad. Take this your ass shit. down to motherfucking Venezuela. Yeah, this ain't shit. Hey, this ain't shit. You thought we got some killers out here. That's why these people won't have it bad, man, because they really don't know. They don't really don't know oppression. Man. They really don't know how bad it's gonna get. A lot of times these motherfuckers live in oppression, live in bad, in the ghetto. They love that shit anyway. Yeah, some of the like the other Jays got it worse than us. Like them other works, by the man. Latin tribe. Yep, got a four works, man, they got actually got no shoes. Their floor is actually made out of dirt. You know? Yeah. I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, for real. Why does everybody say fuck Israel? Don't say stupid. Hell yeah, but what's what's the why they can't say fuck New York? We the test them. Now we Israel though. We're the Israelites. You an Israelite. Yeah, you're an Israelite. That's our true nationality, not African American or black or nigga. Like they like our people like to be called nigga. What's up, nigga? Well, we can, we can utilize that word and make it. Uh, 
that's just mad. That's ghetto. That's ghetto with yeah, You ghetto. know what I'm saying? That's ghetto. That's because that means darkness. Right. We're the children of light. Like there the scriptures say, we're the children of light. There you go. But it's presentation. Yeah, when I say presentation, right? But language, you got to know the meaning of words. But what is a word? A word. It's given as a presentation. Exactly. You know what? You will be known as the darkness and not a light. Yeah. Yeah. Wicked. Yeah. yeah. Look up the devil. Oh, we're going to bring out. It's too wet it's, out it's here. what the word Israel means. It means prince of power. You know, the word Israel. Yeah, you know. The Israel. Yeah, prince of, of God. Prince you know of God. That's the real presentation for you. This is what you will be known as. Son of God. That's why we out here to bring you back to your national. Bring you back to your true period. You know? Let me read this before we all go. That sounds like Nakash. You know, the serpent's called it Nakash. This is by Isaiah 5 and 8. Woe unto them that join house to house. I have a question. Why, why, is, the, why is the American stuff like a kick? Which one? That's the, the, the disrespect of marriage. Oh, that's yeah, the hell with the marriage. So why the fuck are we still here? Though? We just we're patiently we're waiting to get delivered. Yeah, I'm patiently waiting to get back. Well, you gotta be, be patient, man, because we about to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, at our own. Literally, the Lord is gonna get us up out of here. At our we own. about to get lifted up out of here. Woe unto them that join house to house. They lay field to field till there be no place that they may be places alone in the midst of the earth. Just like you just mentioned about the west side. It does look bad. It ain't just it's the website. It's all over America. Yeah. Columbus, yeah. Like you said, go up by uh, Hudson. Right. Go up by uh, uh, Mount Vernon, Cleveland you go, Avenue. You go between the house, you got to walk like this. Yeah. I have one more question. Why is it so cold? You like it? Well, we just went, because that's not their real name. Like so-called black people in America, cool. they're not, there's no people called black people or Negroes. Because according to the Bible, they're Judites from the tribe of Judah. Just like Mexicans, it's not really, there's no such thing as Mexican. You ain't gonna read the Bible and see the word Mexican. That's right. They call it the tribe of Issachar. So it's like everybody got a biblical identity. The Most High already named us. You know, we already been named. So we can't, the wicked come in and, and, and name us because they know the power of you knowing who you truly are. You bring up how we transformed ourselves when we found out we were actual Hebrew Israelites and this book was meant for just <laughs> us. Man, that's bad, man. You wake up and you realize that, oh, damn, we, we, we real, we gods? What the scriptures tell you, we are gods? <laughs> exactly. And, uh, tell me, look at Judges. Uh, every time they went into captivity or slavery, they would call upon the name of the Lord, the Lord would deliver. Well, what they did with this captivity, they took the name of the Lord. I would say Shalom. They took the uh, name of the Lord. Where, where, 